Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally doing the so very requested skincare routine. I am doing it today, but I really like, I don't want you guys to be disappointed because I've said this so many times, I don't really have a routine. So instead of showing you guys like, then I use this face wash and then this face wash and then this, 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 which is all fake to me because I don't do that every night. I just listen to my skin. If my skin feels like it needs a little hydration, I give it that. If my skin is really feeling dirty, I clean it. If it feels fine, I don't touch it. If it's dry, I moisturize it. If it's, yeah, I just listen to it, you know? I don't really focus on a routine and I think that's been the best for my skin. My skin has never really broken out horribly. Of course, I get breakouts, I'm human. I've only bought like literally I think one of the things I'm showing you guys, everything else was sent to me. Being a beauty vlogger, I'm very lucky and I'm very blessed to have a lot of companies send me stuff all the time. Because of that, I have this big pile in my house of skincare stuff and whenever my skin's feeling something, I go in and I reach for things that look like they could fix my problem and I try it out. And if they work, I keep them and I use them for a little bit and if they don't, I put them back in the drawer and hope Hopefully one of my friends will take it and love it. I use a lot of products because I have a lot of products. So basically in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about all my different skin cycles that my skin goes through. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I upload content all the time. And yeah, just subscribe. Thank you so much. Have you subscribed yet? Please do it. Have you done it? Thank you. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get on to my very first routine, which is taking my makeup off. Um, this isn't like, a heavy type of makeup look, but regardless of it, whether I have like 20 pounds of makeup on or like a light slay, this is always um, what I do. So let me show you. First thing, I obviously take my lashes off. Also, yeah, I have long hair right now. I just literally put them in, but I did a really bad job at blending them, as you guys can tell. Um, okay, so to take off my eye makeup, I always use something speci uh, specifically for my eye makeup because it takes it off the best. So my favorite, like tried and true, I'll probably never use anything else, has been the oil-free eye makeup remover by Neutrogena. And I always use a little cotton pad to take these off. I just rub it. Rub, rub, rub. I like to use this around my eye as opposed to a makeup remover wipe because I think those are a little too harsh around the eyes. And I also think that they don't take off my mascara as well as this does. So as you guys can tell, that just like completely takes everything off. After that, I then go in with makeup remover wipes. I kind of switch mine on and off, but recently this is the kind that I have. These are the Kirkland Signature Daily Facial Towelettes. I just got these because I found them on Amazon for like 150 towels for like $12. So it was a pretty good deal, so I snagged these up. And then with this, I don't really do anything special. I kind of avoid my eyes just because these make my eyes a little irritated. So a lot of times whenever I take my makeup off, like I do feel pretty moisturized and stuff, but I always like to add moisturizer. I'm kind of obsessed with moisturizer and this one's my favorite. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. This is just nice and like lightweight. It just feels really good. All right, now my makeup is off and I am off to go work out. All right, let's move on to the next routine. Hello, I just woke up. If you guys can tell from my hair, from my voice, from my puffy face. I just woke up and I just washed my skin, so I'm gonna explain what I did. Um, and now my skin feels like so dry and it's because I'm super, dehydrated. I know I'm so dehydrated and my skin is really saying that also. So I'm going to show you guys what I do to hydrate my skin when it's feeling like this. So I wash my face morning and night whenever I feel like washing my face with Lush Herbalism. This is a really great face wash because um, it reminds me of like soiled dirt that's very like wet. And then when you um, wash it, like you run it under some sink, it becomes very like crumbly and stuff. I don't know. It's really, really good. 
It works really well on my skin. Every time I'm breaking out, I use this. My breakouts just go away. So that's what I use to wash my face, but now we're on to what I'm going to use to hydrate my face. So the first thing that I'm going to do is put on a mask, and this is the Bouncy Mask by First Aid Beauty. I use a lot of First Aid Beauty because they send me a lot of stuff, and I really love First Aid Beauty. Like, I think they have some of the best skincare ever. All right, so the Bouncy Mask, this, um, it says, helps to nourish, calm, firm, plump, and refine. So it's not a hydrating mask, but it's clear, and it's like a liquid, so I find that my skin just sort of soaks it all in and it really helps it. The mask is on, you can't really tell, but it's on, so I'm gonna leave this on for like five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna put chapstick on while this masks. All right, it's been about like 15 minutes or so, I would just leave it on for 10, but I never follow the instructions with face masks. I literally just do it until I'm like ready to wash it off. I don't know if that's bad, but it's what I do. Okay, so then I use three products after this to cleanse and hydrate more. So the first thing that I do is I take a toner. I don't know the brand of this at all. Myzon. I really don't know. It was sent to me. And um, if you guys can tell, I don't use a ton of it because toners kind of freak me out, but I use this sometimes when I feel like it. Um, this is the Water Volume Essence Hydra Toner. So I just take this, I guess I really don't use a lot, I only use like two drops. And I really just put this around my T-zone. I don't really go everywhere with this. It doesn't feel like a toner, it just feels like a gel. Then, after that is on, to put some moisture back in my skin before I moisturize it, I take any mist that I have. Um, right now I'm using the Vitamin Hydrating Mist by First Aid Beauty. And then once that's set into place pretty much, then I go in with a lotion. I absolutely love this lotion. It's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. That is my dry skin routine. Let's move on to the next one. Ooh, girl. So I just got back from spin, which is why I look the way I look, but I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I need to really cleanse my skin. It's pretty much whenever I sweat a lot or I have a lot of makeup on is when I do this. So yeah, this is what I do. I normally put a face mask on, shower, wash it off in the shower, and then come back out and finish up. So the mask that I put on is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask. I am obsessed with this mask. I think it is the best thing ever. It's pretty much like a facial in a jar. You can really see the shit that comes out of your pores. Like the, there's so much dirt and sweat and just gross stuff built up in your pores. And it really just all comes through when you do this mask. You, when I say you really don't need a lot, I really mean that you don't need a lot. So. So it says to do a thin amount and you can put this all over your face. If I really feel that like my entire face is like gross as anything, I will put it all over my face. But for the most part, I just look like Mermaid Man and I just put it where I have pores that need a little bit of cleaning. So that's mostly like around my nose and especially on my nose, like especially, especially and then right on my chin, like right in that crevice area. Okay, so while this is on, um, as you guys can tell, it starts to turn like a light color and I'm gonna show you guys before I hop in the shower what it's gonna look like. But while this is on, I really like to hydrate lips um, so this is the Nivea cream. That's it. It's the Nivea cream. It's like the original. This technically is not supposed to like go on your lips and stuff. Um, Charles Gross will sometimes put this all over his skin as like a deep hydrating mask. I've done that before. I think it works great, but I also think that it makes my skin really greasy. So I don't put it all over my skin anymore, but I do load this on my lips. You guys are gonna laugh, but like it works. Any leftover I put right here around my eyes. Cause I feel like right there, I'm gonna like 
get those crow's feet or whatever they're called. Like I'm serious, like this is what I do. Beauty is not always beautiful. You're just gonna let it marinate and do its thing and trust, trust the process, okay? It's been about like 10 minutes or so. Um, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see how gross this mask is. All, yeah, I know, I'm disgusting. All of these like black dots are dirt and like everything just coming up from your skin. I'm gonna go shower and then I'll finish off what I do to clean my skin at night. So after that mask, I normally feel really like tight in my skin. So I really go in and rejuvenate my face. So the first thing that I do is just make sure that everything is out. Uh, this is Lagom. Um, it's a mist toner. So I spray this on and I just kind of mist it in. I don't really do anything with it, I just let it be. This is where I become an idiot and I don't really know like what's up with skincare. So SkinCeuticals sent me these two products and then Kiel sent me this. So this is the Kiehl's Nightly Refining Micro Peel Concentrate. Basically, I went to the Kiehl's store and I was like, I have this, like, what is it? She was like, you have it, like, it's amazing, I recommend this to everyone. So she said that it's a gentle skin peel and pretty much every night it, like, generates new cells and, like, strips your old cells. So you pretty much wake up, wake up with like a new face every day. Um, but then I also have these two from SkinCeuticals. And my friend works at SkinCeuticals at um, Dermablend, but they're like owned by the same. And I was like, yeah, like what are these? He's like, oh, like those are really, really good. Like they sent you really good stuff. And I was like, okay. So this one says prevent and this one says correct. Okay, I'm going to do it in this order. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the SkinCeuticals Blemish and Age Defense. I don't know. So I'm currently correcting my face. I think that, oh yeah, I know what this is. This is a product that it like, it's made with the natural oil that your skin has. It soaks up hydration. So as soon as you put this on your skin, it like soaks it right up because it like needs it and it thrives off that. Then I'm gonna put on the Kiehl's Nightly Refining Micro Peel. I don't know if I notice a difference, but I know what it's supposed to do. So I kind of just trust it. And then once that's all set, the last thing I do is go in with the SkinCeuticals for, for Lenit, Flor, Florentin, Florentin, Flor, Floritin, Floritin, Floritin CF, broad range antioxidant treatment. This one smells like burnt hamburgers. <laughs> then I go back in with any sort of mist. This is the same one as before. And then once that's all set into my skin, the very last thing, don't I look like radiant? I know. The very last thing I do is I take the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydro Firm Sleeping Cream. Mask? Cream. Cream. And I love this. It is super thick. It's amazing. And it just feels really, really good. It's like a cake consistency. Like it's really, really thick. So I think a moisturizer like a thick one is like the best thing that you can ever do for your skin like all fancy products aside it might just fell um, a moisturizer is honestly gonna be the best for you because it just it, like growing up I feel like everyone just tells you like moisturize your skin and then you can prevent wrinkles like moisturize 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 and I'm just like Okay, and that's how I do my night cleansing routine. Now let's finish up the video. So that is it. That is my big, long skincare routine. I know, it was a lot to handle, but you guys got through it, and that's what I do. It might seem a bit excessive, but I don't have a routine. I just listen to my, what my skin tells me, and I use the products accordingly. If you guys want to see my last video, which was my February favorites, then click right here. And if you guys want to see another video chosen just for you, Look right there. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.